All right, so this is going to be a quick build update for the third build I really wanted to make during this league, which is my Thor build. It's an Avenger's shield using a two-handed weapon. Um, and it's an ice weapon. It's a two-handed mace, so it's basically Mjolnir. Um, and it's using Stormcaller's Pact. Uh, a little bit more cold than uh, Thor would probably use, but it's as close as we get. Uh, wind Devil is permanent. We get two Wind Devils because it's minus one because of the, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, club. Um, it's permanent. It's basically is always out. Uh, Aegis of Men here is now 100% cold damage plus 100% or plus weapon damage, and the weapon is 100% cold damage. It's two handed uh, damage, and basically it's about twice three times it's about three times as much damage as any shield so it's a crap ton of damage um i wish the skill cooldown reduction was a bit higher i need a, a bit more skill cooldown reduction in different places um this amulet is overpowered as fuck for this build um i might want to go like retaliation with this weapon just because of this but even st like, but that doesn't really matter very much because like this is really good if you're going the retaliation build. But if you're going two-handed, ninety percent extra weapon damage on a two-handed weapon is fucking huge. I want a different metal. This metal does not really help at all. Attack damage to health is okay, but I don't really need four percent. Is not that big on something with this cooldown. Um, reprisal doesn't really help. Crit damage is not. I mean, crit damage is nice, but it's not worth all the damage I lose from this metal, but it's the best metal I have at this level, so I can't really say much. I'm using three-piece Eastern set for no real reason. I don't really have any cold gear because I've been leveling like fire and lightning builds up to this point, so and aether. Um, this ring is pretty nice. Oak skin is a really nice thing, and plus this uh, gives me uh, elemental damage and health. And this one has cold damage on it, and this one has. Uh, just resistances. Like Rune Carved gives me more elemental damage too. Um, helmet is only there for uh, Virus Might uh, to skate faster. Like I said, I want to skate a little bit. Um, shoulders are okay. Chaos to elemental damage. I don't really do any chaos damage, so it doesn't really help very much, but it has lots of resistances I need. Um, boots are whatever. Not really that great. Belt's kind of trash too. It's Shaman instead of Inquisitor. Um, Endurance is a decent relic, but yeah, not again, not really that great. I just swapped over to this build. Um, as far as the skills go, Permanent Wind Devil with um, uh, what's it called? Soft Cap. I could be up, up more, but right now I'm trying to put points in other things. Um, and Maelstrom. So my goal right here is to pump this and pump Maelstrom. And then I'm going to pump uh, Storm Totem. Um, I've got this maxed, which gives me cold damage, frost burn damage, and 50% of this, 50% uh, of lightning damage as cold damage because of the uh, the mace. Um, and it's also 50% of physical damage as cold damage. So it helps a lot. Um, so it turns ha this basically to half lightning, half cold damage. Um, this is, you know, bonus health. And Oathkeeper. I haven't maxed anything out here, but Aegis of Men here. I want to put more points into this. This, even though I'm not using Retaliation, specifically to get that chance of 100% cooldown. Um, I want to put more points into this, but it's not really such a big deal right now. Um, this, I'm never going to use this. Um, I'm thinking about putting more points into this later on, but Storm Totem is the big thing right now, and I need more points into this. I, I can I can put about two more points into this. I want to put more points into this as well, just to get more cooldown on uh, uh, Virus Might. And I want to max out Ascension at some point and get this to like 6 points. My Devotions are pretty simple. I want to work Kraken in here somehow, because Kraken is a lot of damage. 70% damage movement speed, 50% damage, 15% crit damage, 4% fizz res, 180 health, attack speed cast speed does not help with this build. 180 health, attack speed, cast speed does not help with this build. So if I could just work, if I could find three points to put in this, that would be really nice. Problem is, I don't have three points anywhere. Because I'm doing Elemental Bomb 
which is really high damage, and I'm going to do Whirlpool. My question now, like my final point is like, do I put flat cold damage plus uh, percent cold damage, which actually might be really good because of the two-handed damage? Do I do the Frostburn damage plus Frostburn damage plus maximum cold res, which is also nice because it's a single attack? Or do I grab this uh, cold damage, frostburn damage, and offensive ability piece over here? I'm leaning towards the frostburn damage for the attack because it's a cooldown attack. Um, so that might be really good. Um, of course, we've got this. We've got giant's blood because it's uh, green and red. And I need the red. If I worked Kraken, I wouldn't need the red anymore, but I'd need the green somewhere. So, that's the thing. Uh, I've got this one for the OA, this one for green and purple, because I need purple. Purple, purple, green, purple, green. <clears throat> so yeah, that's the basics of the build. Um, right now, with everything I've got, I'm unbuffed. I've got a crap ton of elemental res. I'm just overcapped on that. I'm undercapped on piercing, undercapped on chaos, no stun res, undercapped on aether, mm, overcapped vitality, overcapped or undercapped bleeding. Bleeding is I'm still undercapped even when I put my buffs on. So with my buffs on, by the way, it's so nice to not have to constantly put on wind devil. I'm 82%. Uh, Chaos Res, not overcapped yet. 2% um, overcapped Aether. Overcapped Vitality. Overcapped Piercing. So yeah, overall solid on the resistances. I've got 12,000, almost 13,000 health at level 64. Um, and yeah, it looks like this when you throw the thing. It's like a big old spearhead. I wish... I kind of wish the animation was a little bit different. Like, it, I wish it wouldn't throw the bottom of the mace. I wish it would throw the top of the mace. Like, that's my big issue right now, is it throws the bottom of the mace, not the top of the mace. Um, but, yeah, the Eastern set makes it proc that thing each time. Um, so, let us do a quick demonstration. I'm going to kill a random boss. Let's do the helmet boss. Why not? So we'll go to Blood Grove. Skate through here. Oops. And we're just going to make our way to the boss here. It does a lot of damage. It's like one shot everything damage kind of stuff. Like, a lot of times, like, I've been, like, since I swap builds, even with this crap I have right now, I can one shot some of these. Um, so between Wind Devil and, uh, the Guardians of Empyrean, Guardians of Empyrean are like 50% cold, um, so that's kind of nice. The, the Guardians are mostly there, going to be there for, uh, what's it called? Um, whatever, uh, CC, or, um, RR Reduction. So now we've got the boss. It's a level two. Uh, the storm totem's there for like uh, products. See the damage is just so big, so big. That might be an upgrade for a helmet. But anyway. Um, that's going to be it for this one. I uh, hope you enjoy this build. It's pretty fun. Um, it's Avenger Shield with a two-handed weapon.
which is pretty huge when you get plus 90% additional damage on it. Um, the problem with Avenger Shield is it's cooldown. So if you can get a good metal with cooldown reduction or something, um, or maybe a set that has cooldown reduction, I'm not really sure about Avenger Shield. I haven't played with it much. But if you can get something that can give you cooldown reduction, you don't need to really worry about the physical damage of Avenger Shield being converted to something. Because there's no physical damage on this Avenger Shield except from uh, Mog Drogon's Pact. Mog Drogon's Pact gives 100, like gives 33 physical damage. It's not such a big deal if you don't put more points into it. Um, and I think same thing. Like this gives uh, internal trauma, and this gives physical damage. So you do get physical damage from these two things. So if you get like something that's like a, a converts 100% of its physical damage to like acid damage or fire damage, that will reduce your damage a little bit, but not too much. Um, the physical damage here, like, I mean, it does have actually a lot of base physical damage, but that's still gonna, the weapon damage is the majority of your damage here. But it's like we've got, you know, 6,000 cold damage, and then. Uh, about 600 cold da additional damage from that, plus 380% weapon damage, which is like 35,000 damage. So yeah, it's it's a lot of damage. Um, anyways, I uh, hope you enjoy the build. Try it out. It's really fun so far. See you next time when I get more updates.